What, Sub-2? Simply unluckier, and it's time for the epic, the incredible, the classic, the Pharaoh himself, the 2017 Megaton Yugi. And then I want to ask you guys to check out the channel and subscribe for more epic Yu-Gi-Oh! videos. Alright, so we open up the KC, the Kaiba Corp, the Kaiba Tins. And we had some epic tins. It was zootastic, if you ask me. And uh, now let's see if we can pull some of those other epic cards in the set. So we haven't pulled Dimensional Barrier, uh, Magic Magician's Navigation. We have Totally Awesome, so those tins weren't that awesome, because, you know, it wasn't totally awesome. Um, we didn't pull Drowning Near Force, Foolish Burial Goods, or even some Akiva's cards like Twin Burst Dragon and White Stone of the Ancients. So I think it's time for us to pull some of those right here, right now. And if you ask me, um, Kaiba pulled the Dark Magical Circle. Like, what's going on with that? You know, we're going we're gonna to need to pull that over here. So let's get started with our first Yugi tin open. Thanks to our friends, ouch. Friends at Ultra Pro, um, we have the epic No Game, No Life playmat here that we're using because... There's just no life if there's no game. And uh, we'll also continue to use our white eclipse sleeves. So here we go. First, you again. Okay. Let's get started. So just like the... Uh, here, I'm going to set that over there, actually. Just like the Kaiba tin, we have everything here in one little pack. And, uh, let's see. So, we have a Secret Rare Dark Magician, who, just like Simple and Lucky, is the ultimate wizard in terms of attack and uh, defense. So, you guys didn't know. Uh, another Proxy Dragon, Pot of Desires. And this time we have a number 71 Rebarian Shark. And it's two level 3 monsters. Zero attack, 2,000 defense. Ooh, I like that. It's super rare water up there. Looks good with the black. Once per turn, if this card has a material, you can target one number exceeds monster in your graveyard, except number 7. Uh, special, special summon it, and if you do attach one material from this card to it, and if this card is sent to the graveyard, you can choose one rank up magic spell from your deck um, and place it at the top. Interesting. Dreamland. This is an interesting card, by the way, guys. You can only activate these effects depending on the monster's card types. The uh, monster card types on the field. Fusion. Once per turn, if a monster is sent from your hand or field to the graveyard by a card effect, you can draw one card. Synchro. When a monster is normal or special summoned, you can increase their levels by one. Exceeds. Once per turn during your end phase, destroy the monster on the field with the highest level. You can only activate one Dreamland per turn. Um, and the reason this card is also cool is the picture. You're not going to see epic pictures like this very often, I feel like, for Yu-Gi-Oh cards. The artistic value of this picture, I feel like, is more like Magic the Gathering or... Shoot, even Magic the Gathering has a, don't, doesn't really do big scenes like this that often. So that's extremely cool. Uh, very cool card, Dreamland. I want to spend some time on that. And then, of course, our token, which is the most awesome card in the tin. Um, by far, we have... Little Yugi and a Tem, or the Pharaoh, Yami Yugi. Very cool. It's got some cool little foil going on in the back there. All right. <clears throat> Let's uh, go ahead and sleeve up the Dark Magician. Ooh. And uh, let's also give it Dreamland a sleeve just because it's so freaking awesome looking. And Pot of Desires. Well, we've had Proxy Dragon up there, and the shark can just chill. All right, so three packs here. Um, from this tin, you guys, once again, we mentioned some of the cards that we want to pull. Let's see if we can make it happen. I think we've all had enough of the Zodiacs, but you never know. Sometimes they just barrage you with secrets. Digital Bug Web Soldier. Mechanical Arc Fiend. Love this a steampunk. Crazy looking cool dude. Cyframe Accelerator. Ancient Gear Hunting G Hound. Magical Midbreaker. Radishes. Zodiacs are back, whip tail. And no freaking way. Zodiacs riots. And Masterpiece, the true Draco Slayer. We don't get one, we get two Zodiacs in our first pack. They're back. Alright. Uh, Masterpiece, the Draco Slayer. That's actually pretty cool to pull that guy ultra rare. High speed, uh, Puzzle Man. White, White Princess. Uh, and Tranger, Red Ward, Speed Horse, and the Shino Birds, Salvation. Um, so we're starting off strong with the Zooties. And uh, here, I'll just kind of 
try to keep three piles here. Zodiac Dryden. We didn't go over his effect in Kaiba's videos, but once per turn you can exceed summon this guy using a Zodiac monster you control with a different name. Um, any materials also become attached. This card gains attack and defense equal to the attack and defense of all Zodiac monsters attached as materials. Once during each turn during either player's turn, you can detach one exceeds from this card. This card gets face up um, on the field, destroy it. Target one face up card on the field, destroy it. So, good card. Alright, you guys, here we go. Next pack. Come on. I'm feeling an awesome pack here. Cyber 2 twos. Marm, Black Wings, Gofu, nice. Uh, Simph Amplifier, Obabina, Obabina, Starving Venom, and nice! The White Stone of the Ancients, Ultra Rare with a Starving Venom Dragon. Cool. Secret Rare there. White Stone of the Ancients, though, even more powerful. Um, Ten Matatete, <laughs> Dynamis Ankles, Black Wings, Cypher Bits, Massive Morph, Shino Birds, and Wonder Exceeds. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and sleeve our White Stone of the Ancients, but first, I haven't checked out that effect in a while. Once per turn, during the end phase, if this card is sent to the graveyard because it was sent there this turn, you get special summon a blue eyes monster from your deck. You can banish this card from the graveyard to target one blue eyes monster in your graveyard and add to your hand. You can only use this effect once per turn. Very nice. The white stone the is also a one star tier. Alright, Starving Venom Dragon. I feel like we pull that guy off and it just comes to us. Uh, Fusion Fright Waltz, Forge of the True Dracos, Fairy Tail Sleeper. Nice. Um, Scythe, Scythe, Christron. What are they, like Gundams? Digital Bug, Corbich. Ankle, or Anomalous. Zodiac Barrage! What is going on with the Zodiacs? Metal Foes, Mithrillium. Are you serious? More Zodiacs. Okay, okay. Alright, Tuning Gum. Uh, was it Bungie Gum? In uh, Hunter x Hunter? Oh, what's Hisoka? Uh, Cypher Mirror Knight. Uh, Drew Ragooties, got the cooties, Ritual Beast, and a Heavy Freight Train, Derek Crane. Alright, you guys, it's not over. It's not over until Yugi and Yami sing a nice little duet together. Here's another epic tin for you guys. We are gonna pull a dark magical card, dark magician secret right here. It's gonna happen. So once again, Simply and Lucky is an ultimate wizard in terms of attack and defense. All right, here we go. Three more packs. Once again, you, you forgot what's in this pack uh, that we just talked about a few minutes ago. Dark Magician, Proxies, Pond of Desires, Dreamland, and another token. You gotta keep sleeping up that token though. Very nice. Okay. Another Mega 10 here. Let's do this. Yugi Boy, here we go. Beginning of Heaven and Earth, Doki Doki Smackdown, Metronome, Canine Tar, Radish Horse, Magician's Rod, there we go, come on, match it with the navigation, or oh, totally awesome, oh baby, there we go, and Mithrillium's back, ooh, lost win, nice frame, um, wow, so that was a totally awesome pack opening, it's about time we got some toads, awesome toads, Dino Mist, Dino Mist, Fried Fur, Death's Bunt, and Derek Crane, Heavy Freight Train, Derek Crane. Okay, nice rare. Um, but Magician's Rod, most powerful wad. rod. The ultimate rod in terms of attack and defense. Uh, Alright, um, we'll sleeve up our Zodiacs. God, get these cards out of here. Uh, but we got the White Stone, and we did end up getting the Totally Awesome. So, we, uh, we gotta be pretty proud of that. The Toad. Magic. Uh, once per turn during the standby phase, you detach and exceed material from this card to summon a frog monster from your deck. Once per turn during either player's turn, when your opponent activates a spell or trap or monster effect, you can send an aqua type monster from your hand or face up on your field of the grave to negate the activation if you do destroy that card. And then you can set it on the field. Um, then you can set that card. Um, this card is sent to the graveyard. Target one water monster your grave after your hand. Lots of cool stuff for frogs. It's pretty much totally awesome. Okay, so, now Secret Rares we're still looking for. We got the Magician's Navigation. Dimensional Barrier. Um, those are definitely the top two for show. Um, Dark Magical Circle, though, if we're going to pull a duplicate. Uh, Howitzer, Paleozoes, Zodiacs, Gofu. Ooh, 
more magician, more magical magicians. <laughs> oh, what is happening? A uh, dragon spirit of light. More zodiacs. What is going on, man? Go back to your cage. Go back to your kingdom. Uh, magician's dark illusion, though, to go with a rod. Uh, Envoy of chaos. Ryo Kami is back from his training. He has learned a technique. The zone. And through the zone, he's able to use the power of lightning. And uh, he's able to move like he never was able to move before. Ryo Kami. <laughs> Alright. Black Sword and Judgment. Summer Gates. Ooh, Destruction Sword Memories and Black Ninja Dragon. Ryo Kami. Alright. Freaking volleyball, man. It's like a Kuroko's volleyball. Um, last pack here of this tin. Uh, we got another Zodiac card. <laughs> Let's do this. Totally awesome. Come on. The Mitchell Bear or Magician's Epicness. Doki Doki Smackdown. Metal Foes. Ooh, Metal Foes Civil Red. Sizzling Soldier on a Silver Sublight Speed Jet. Can't track her. Can't see her. Can't escape the light speed laser. Sim Amplifier. Metal Foes. <laughs> Magician's Navigation. Oh, baby. Here we go. That's what I'm talking about. Yugi Boy and True King Burasteros through the Fathomer. Very nice. Magician's Navigation. Oh, baby. Giving it to us, Yugi Boy. That's what I like to see. Speed Roids. Bad Aim. Kaiju Files. And the Beast Returns from the East. Okay. So. Starting to do some work here. Uh, Magician's Navigation. A special summon one dark magician from your hand. Then special summon one level seven or lower dark spellcast five monster from your deck. If you control a dark magician, accept the turn. This card was sent to the grave. You can banish this card from the graveyard. Then target one face-up spell or trap card your opponent controls. Its effects are negated until the end of the turn. Very epic card. It's hard to say which is more epic. I like uh, the circle, the mad dark magical circle. But uh, pulling a Magician's Navigation... Um, it's pretty nice as well. The Dark Magical Circle doesn't have Dark Magician and uh, Dark Magician Girl in the art of the card. So, I'm going to say Magician's Navigation is just a little bit better. Alright. Uh, should we do a recap? No! One more tin. Why not? Yugi Boy has given us some fire. That fire's brewing. I'm feeling a Dark Magical Circle in this tin, you guys. Do you guys feel it? I feel it. Is it the most valuable card of the set? Probably. Magician's Navigation is right there next to it, though, I believe. Ah, the Ultimate Wizard Returns. His attack and defense are just too dang high. It's actually over 9,000, if you guys were wondering. I'm going to set that aside. No, we're not going to set that aside. We're going to get our freaking Yugi Boy token. Yugi Boy! Okay. Leave that bad boy up, and let's get down to business. Here we go. Last three packs. Are you guys ready for this? 2017 Megaton. Yugi. Shino Bird Power Spot. Cuban. And Cypher Twin. Um, what, we have, what, what have we not pulled? We're definitely searching for that Dark Magical Circle. We got the navigation. We need the Dimensional Barrier, guys. I think it's time. You guys feeling Dimensional Barrier? Feeling Dimensional Barrier. Dwarf Star. Dragon Planeteer. Empowerment. Toon the Toon. Yugi Boy. A Toon Dog Magician. And Sea Monsters back with another Spirit of White. That is definitely our Spirit Monster for the Ultra Rares. Uh, tai Tai, my Tai. And uh, Toon Dog Magician. Toon Dog Magician. Perform Pile Card of the Soul. She Bird's Calling and Dino Soon. Here we go, guys. Two more packs left. <sighs> I'm debating on asking for Kaiba's help here. I'm not sure. Two Two Bond. Paleo Zoes. Give it to us. Kaiba! Here we go. Magician's Dark Illusion. <laughs> Stabbing Venom Dragon. And the Floodgate Trample. What is going on, man? Is that four, like, Venom Dragons? Like, for real? For real? I swear, if we pull a Zodiac Secret Rare in our final pack here. Pride of Plants. Massive Quarantines. We are pulling a good amount of Magician uh, Super Rares, though. That's pretty cool. Alright, you guys. Last pack of Destiny. Kaiba has failed us. It's all about a Yugi. Yami Yugi. Here we go. Yu-Gi-Oh! Terminal World next. Gear Gear Change. Metal Foes. Fairy Tail Sleeper. 
Escape ghost coast to coast. Zodiac whip tail. Come on. Dimensional barrier. Dark magical circle. Drowning mirror force. Not bad. That's a good one. I was like, ooh, it's the trap. <laughs> Secret rare. When an opponent's monster clears a direct attack, shuffle attack position opponent's cards into the deck. Very nice. Very good card. Nice. We were looking for this one. The drowning mirror force. Whip tail. Lector. Fusion recycling plant. Bug matrix. Ignites. Unites. Finite cards and amazing pendulums. Not a bad three tens there, you guys. That's for sure. So we got the Dark Magical Circle and Kaibas, and we got the Magician's Navigation and Yugi's. Uh, this was this was a pretty awesome opening, I'd say. Let's do a little recap of some of the cards we got. We got some Whip Tails, some Dark Illusions. We got a Toon Dark Magician, a Starving Venom Dragon, Sea Monsters, Dark Magic Rods, the most powerful rod, rod in terms of attack and defense. Uh, Pendulum, Floodgates, Spirit Dragons for Days, Metal Foes, a Master of Peace. Um, of course, we got our epic cards from the tin up here, the Pot of Desires, the Dark Magician, the Dreamland. Got our Yugi tokens out there. Um, we also have an Ancient Stone of Ancients. We got a Dryden, a Trident, or a Broad Ball, and a Barrage. Because why not? This is Dreamland after all, and Zodiacs are a big part of it. Drowning Mirror Force. Um, we have the totally awesome, making this a totally epically awesome opening, and the almighty Magician's Navigation. Overall, you guys, definitely an epically awesome opening. Um, we got to that Magician's Navigation along with uh, the cards that we released from the zoo here, the Zodiacs. And we did drown it out with the Mirror Force. Very nice. All in Dreamland. And as always, you guys, thank you so much for watching, and please remember to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed the content, and of course, post in the comments below what you guys think about this Mega Pack, the Yugi Mega Tin, and the different cards that come inside, and uh, what you guys have pulled from these different tins as well. Has it been your dreamland? And simply, unlucky, signing out.